Hey guys, welcome to the fifth episode of the Nerds Pokecast. This is the unofficial, official Pokemon podcast for the nerds on Facebook. Hopefully soon to be on Twitch and YouTube. Uh, once those come available, we will be porting the uh, Pokecast over to that as well. That way you guys have more options to view it and to help that community to grow. Um, today we're going to be talking about the Pokemon games. Uh, the Brilliant Diamond and the Shining Pearl. Uh, we'll also be talking about Pokemon Arceus, as well as the newer Japanese and English sets for the Pokemon TCG. Uh, we may also talk a little bit about the current situation with the market, but I'm not 100% sure if we'll get to that. Just depends how much time we have. This may be a little bit longer than our normal uh, podcast, which is usually about 30 minutes. And it's really hard to do it on my own. And I'm hoping I can reach out for the next one and finally get somebody to join us. Um, I just haven't had time to get to this. This is why it's a month late. Uh, I just haven't had time, guys. <laughs> so I'm hoping I'm hoping we can kind of fix this. I appreciate um, you know the patience, and I do appreciate all the support so far. Um, I, I really enjoy doing this. Uh, I've been getting deeper into streaming, uh, working on this on other projects to go inside with my channel. Uh, if you haven't already, feel free to hit that follow button, hit that subscribe button, I definitely appreciate it. Uh, we'll be having a giveaway once we hit 500 followers. We'll be giving away either Pokemon Snap or a Pokemon Elite Trainer Box. Whoever wins, you know, they can choose which one they want. Now, I don't, uh, it'll probably, the ETV will probably be from the newer sets because we can't really go that far so it'll probably be about a $60 value so just keep that in mind definitely would appreciate it maybe we can get the 500 by the end of the year or end of the summer we're currently sitting at 418 which is pretty good pretty damn good I'm excited I'm excited it's uh, growing it's I mean it's great but let's go ahead and dive into it and the first thing we're going to talk about is the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Remix, which is Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Now, we did get a release date of November the 19th for both games, as well as a uh, release date for Arceus, which I believe that's in January. Let's see. Let's take a look, see when that is. I believe that, yeah, January 28th of 2022. Uh, so, in a span of three months... Uh, we're going to have major Pokemon titles coming out. Uh, we'll have the remakes, and we'll also have a full-blown new version of Pokemon that we have not seen before, but always dreamed of. It looks, it looks like it's going to be an open-world, uh, Breath of the Wild-style game. And from the looks of it, you could get mounts, which would be your Pokemon that you can ride around on like horses. Uh, and you're basically building the Pokédex from scratch for that region now for me i have never played diamond pearl or platinum so i'm pretty excited about this because i like i said i've never done it before i do own these games i tried to play through these back uh i want to say about 10 years ago and uh i got they all got stolen from a ex of mine um which sucks sucked it was, it was pretty bad and I never really picked Pokemon back up there for a while. Like, it's been within the last two years that I really started getting back into Pokemon, which is pretty awesome because uh, I really enjoy it. I've been collecting the cards. I got all the games now. Um, you know, I got the originals downloaded to my DS. I've got um, the Game Boy Advance versions. I'm pretty excited about these two new games. Uh, so it's going to be a big three or four months like when these games come out. Now, what I'm going to say, and it's kind of controversial because I normally do not advocate this, but pre-order the games, guys. Pre-order If you want these, want these games, pre-order them, uh, or you're, not, you're probably not going to get them. Uh, go back. If you take a look at the market right now, it's getting better. Thing, you're starting to find stuff on the shelves, but... These two new games are coming out, and the one in January, you just know people are going to buy it all up and sell it for double the price, or maybe $20 more. So, I'm just going to go ahead and say, if you want these games on release, be sure to pre-order them. 
I've already got mine pre-ordered. I also pre-ordered Arceus, which, you know, it's great. Uh, I, I think you will be getting some special stuff from, I think, GameStop. Not sponsored. I normally don't go to GameStop, but I pre-order from there. That way I can get it the day of. I usually, I most of my games are digital, but all my Pokemon games are physical. Except for the ones on my DS, which uh, I bought from the eShop. Those were the original games. I like to eventually get physical versions of them with the cases. Uh, what I ended up getting, and I, you know, some people's gonna be like, yeah, you shouldn't have done that. I did buy uh, re remakes, not remakes, um, re cartridge um, versions of the Game Boy Advance ones, and they also had these really cool cases. They're shaped like DS clamshape uh, cases, which are pretty cool. Uh, but I did buy, uh, in terms of the Game Boy Advance versions, I just bought some remakes of them, basically. Um, I, I forgot the term, what they actually call them. <laughs> but they're pretty cool. I, I don't really care if it's they're fake, but they still play. They still work just fine. I haven't had any problems with them. So, yeah. I mean, if you don't want to spend an arm and a leg, I mean, go for it. I'm not going to say it's bright. But I'm also not going to say it's worth buying a $200 copy of a game without a case. That's just me. It's just me. I don't care. As long as I have the games, I'm pretty excited about that. Pretty excited. But I'm I'm wondering how brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl is going to be. Is it going to be a one-to-one -one remake? Or are they going to add new stuff? Maybe new story elements? Uh, new Pokemon uh, to the list, uh, maybe exclusive Pokemon just for that specific area. Kind of what you see with like the Galarian forms and the Alolan forms. I'm wondering if they're going to be actual um, forms for that specific area. I don't remember what the actual area is called. Um, I, like I said, I've never really played uh, the actual set. So it's the Sinnoh region, that's what it's called. Um, and with Arceus, like I said, it takes place maybe a hundred years prior to the actual full games and you're rebuilding the uh, area's first Pokedex. So I'm wondering how that's gonna work out. I wonder how many Pokemon's gonna be in it. And I wonder how many they're gonna take out of it because a lot of people throw in a lot of fit over Shield and uh, sword and shield over the fact that you didn't have the entire pokedex on there and i'm hoping that hopefully they have the entire pokedex up to the Sinnoh region uh, or maybe add more stuff to it like i said like special variations of Sinnoh pokemon be pretty damn cool pretty damn cool um so we'll see how that goes um the the fact that the, the, the starters are pretty cool, which one of the starters is one of my favorite Pokemon, and that's Cyndaquil. I don't see a lot of love for Cyndaquil and that Cyndaquil line, because I love them. Those are my, the, that's one of my favorite lines. I love them since they was first shown off back in, uh, shit, I was in middle school, probably in the 8th grade, 7th or 8th grade. Uh, this is before my Pokemon cards got stolen, guys. Yeah, all my Pokemon cards got stolen. I, I had a trend, man. What, whenever I get into Pokemon, things will go great for a while. Then everything gets stolen. So I'm not going to try. I'm trying not to jinx myself. And hopefully, um, yeah, these don't get stolen or burnt or anything like that. Because I'm really heavy into it um, to the point where I do have a couple Pokemon tattoos. Which, actually, last weekend, I actually went and got... My uh, Mewtwo, Mew, Alakazam, and Gengar tattoos touched up, and I have a appointment in October for another tattoo, which is going to be Dragon Ball Z theme. Um, but I do have a few Pokemon tattoos, and I do want to get some more, uh, which leaves me a cool question. Do you guys have any nerdy tattoos that you uh, would like to show off? If you do, sh show them off uh, in the comments or on Twitter, Instagram. TikTok, I'd like to see him. I like to definitely see him. Uh, all my tattoos I have are nerdy, so 
I can't help it. I can't help it. A lot of people kind of roll their eyes when I see my tattoos. I'm like, yeah, but I like this shit. <laughs> you know, I don't have any tribal tattoos, which I think tribal tattoos kind of went away at the dodo. I know I do know some do know some people with tribal tattoos. I'm pretty sure they regret it. Shit, my brother even has a monster energy tattoo, and he regrets it. <laughs> I remember that vividly, like back in the day, the monster um, logo was a big tattoo there for a while. And I don't, I don't know why we're on tattoos, but again, it, it kind of sets a theme for Pokemon because you know, I do have Pokemon tattoos. Um, but yeah, there are some pretty embarrassing tattoos, which I think we'll make a video. Uh, one of the things I'm wanting to do is start making video content um, outside of Pokemon. Um, you might have been noticing that on my streams we'll be covering other games. Uh, this coming week I will probably have a couple of videos coming out about E3, about the big conferences with Nintendo, Nintendo PlayStation, Xbox. Uh, we'll be talking about that stuff, so I'm going to be sure to get some videos out next week. We'll do a kind of a, basically a big long review of some of the games that are coming out and hopefully hopefully um you know things go good because i'm pretty excited about e3 always has been i always will be and maybe we'll get some exclusive news not exclusive but some news about the new pokemon games and maybe some new pokemon updates which you know you never know you never know i mean you do we did get uh Pokemon Snap. We also have the Pokemon Battle of the Yax. Uh, it's a po Pokemon tournament. I'm sorry. You have uh, Pokemon Rangers. Um, maybe we'll get some more stuff like that. This is the 25th anniversary of Pokemon. So hopefully it's pretty damn good. We still have not, which we'll go ahead and dive into this now. We still have not got very much inter uh, information about the 25th anniversary sets, which kind of shocking because you know you would think that they would have information about this so far but they don't uh, I'm not sure uh, what's going on there um, sorry guys but uh, I'm hoping we find out some more stuff soon now the information we do have is that the sets are going to be similar to uh, ETBs but one of the th rumors is that You'll buy an ETB for the 25th anniversary, and there's 10 um, packs of three cards. And so I guess there are three packs, along with some other expansions. Now, I don't know if that uh, rumor holds water. I'm not sure. We still don't know. There's a lot of information that is coming around, but, you know, it's it's hard to tell what, what's going to happen with that. Which that kind of reminds me... Um, over the last couple days, I did release a new unboxing of the new Pokemon EV Heroes Japanese set, which is pretty damn cool, and it's also it's really hyped up right now. Um, I've had mine pre-ordered since day one. I was lucky to get them pre-ordered. I have one more box coming, as well as the VMAX special, but these are usually about $50 or $60. You go on eBay or anywhere else, they're selling for $150. They're selling the VMAX set for $80 to $100. Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, I bought them because I'm excited for them, but I didn't spend scalper prices on them, uh, which is awesome. Uh, the new sets I actually was able to pre-order from uh, Hello Japan, the new Japanese sets. Blue Sky Stream and Sky Scraping Perfect is going to be a return of dragons. So you do have Dragonites, uh, Rayquaza, and a few other pretty good po uh, dragon Pokemon. I don't, they haven't released a lot of it. Matter of fact, we've got more information about the new English set, more so than what we have on the, the two Japanese sets that are basically going to be a part of the uh evolving sky so evolving skies if you don't know is it's going to be uh basically the japanese sets are going to be eevee heroes skyscraping perfect and blue sky stream those three sets are going to come and make 
Evolving Skies, which looks pretty cool. They did release some information about Evolving Skies. And like I said, there's more information about Evolving Skies at this point than there is the actual Japanese sets. Uh, but like I said, I do have those pre-orders. Those will be, there will be an opening there. Um, and what they have so far for um, <coughs> Evolving Skies um, is... They have this new Elite Trainer box. It looks really cool, but I think what it comes with, it comes with two or three of the Build and Battle kits. So you get 12 packs plus a pretty cool promo with the Galarian Birds. Um, there's a fourth one. I don't know what it is. I heard it earlier, but I don't remember what it was. Uh, it'd be kind of cool if it was a Lugia, but I don't think so. Um, but it's kind of cool. They actually have promos for... Uh, the actual Galarian birds because I really enjoy them. I I also have the um, alternate arts of those cards, which they're fucking beautiful. I love them. I love them a whole lot. But you know we have you know the booster box. There's the Pokemon Center exclusive ETB, kind of similar to what you're seeing with Chilling Rain now. Uh, and a rumor is if you pre-order the uh, Chilling Rain Pokemon center exclusives there may be a chance that you get your special delivery charizard now like i said i don't know how true it is there's not enough information but the card has leaked some people has had it uh and sold it for a stupid amount of money uh people actually bought it it was a they spent you know almost a thousand dollars on this card which is going to probably be heavily printed uh for a while because i mean as of right now, as we're talking, there are still pre-orders available for uh, Chilling Rain ETBs. Now, I don't know if, like I said, I don't know how much water it holds. I don't know if it's true. Uh, it's a rumor is with these sets, if you pre-ordered them, they will come with special delivery Charizard. So we'll see how that goes. That comes out next week. Um, so we should know a little bit more. I want to try my hardest to get the special delivery Charizard. I just really want one, and I don't want to spend an exuberant amount of money on it. Uh, this is the first time I've ever ordered from Pokemon Center, and uh, the actual Pokemon Center ETBs are a little bit different than the ones you find at retail. Now, normally at retail, you find an ETB, it usually has eight packs, unless it's a special set, and it comes with ten. Now, the Pokemon Center exclusive Chilling Rain ETBs come with 10 packs. Uh, and they have a few other goodies with them. But it's a little bit different. You get two extra packs, but it is $10 more uh, than a regular ETB. So I'm just assuming that you're going to get something special with the Pokemon Center exclusive. Because this is brand new. This is something I don't think they've ever done before. Um, I know they sell ETBs, but I've never seen a Pokemon uh, Center exclusive. Because on the actual box, it says Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box. Um, and a regular Elite Trainer Box it just says Elite Trainer Box. So it's pretty cool. I'm hoping that we get Special Delivery Charizard with this. Um, that's the main reason why I pre-ordered them. And I, you know, I'm hoping that holds water because that would be pretty hype. Pretty, pretty hype, and I'm excited about that. But as far as things went with the actual unboxing of EV Heroes, though, like, I pulled insane pulls. That's probably one of the best boxes I've ever opened um, for any Pokemon set. Um, you know, I, I got an actual alternate art, which pretty pretty cool. It's the alternate art, uh, Flare, not Flareon, Leafeon. Uh, so you guys can check that out if you want to. Feel free to do that. Um, as far as other sets is coming out, um, we have Chilling Rain. Like I said, Chilling Rain comes out next week. You can already, some places are selling the Build and Battle kits. There are YouTube videos popping up from time to time. I don't know if people are just buying these from scalpers or I, usually 99% of the time right now. Scalpers are usually taking hold of everything, which that kind of reminds me of one thing. I was watching Real Breaking Nate's um, 
So basically, the the actual podcast was called Shadowless. I'm sorry that I had, had to do a little bit of edit there. So sorry about that. Usually, I try to film these in one take. Believe it or not, I don't know why I do that. I, I just feel like I have to do that. I don't know why. But the actual podcast is a Shadowless podcast and has Super Duper Danny as well as Real Breaking Nate. And apparently, some targets are now starting to sell Pokemon cards again. If you don't, guys don't remember, back in May, uh, targets decided to stop selling Pokemon cards just due to the fact of all the craziness that was going on. You had people getting beat up, just fighting, you had the scalpers, you had people pulling out guns on each other. All kinds of crazy bullshit that was going down with that, which, you know, that's a good reason to stop selling Pokemon cards, which, you know, there were some Walmarts that stopped selling them as well, but last time I checked, Walmart is still selling Pokemon cards in my area. They are putting them behind the customer service uh, and they're uh, selling one pack per person, so when you get one Pokemon item per person, kind of sucks, but... It is helping with the scalping problem. You still, they sell out pretty damn quick. Uh, what people will do, if you're a scalper, they'll have their friends and their family, and they'll go all in together, and they'll line up, and they'll start getting packs, and I don't know how they divvy up the money, but I guess they, you know. There's some kind of crazy business going on, which, you know, I, that's your hustle, do what you want. It sucks for people like me that can't go out and buy packs, but I am starting to find packs. Like the other day, I found one <laughs> one pack of Battle Styles at Walgreens, of all places. It was just one single pack, and I did pick it up. And I'm glad I did, because I ended up pulling up a VMAX Urshifu. Uh, the blue one, I forgot, is it uh, Single Strike or Rapid Strike? I think it's Single Strike for is blue. Might be wrong. I might be wrong, but I did pull one of those, which is pretty awesome. So, you know, it was definitely a win for sure. But I'm kind of hoping with you're starting to see on eBay a trend of prices going down. Um, you know, earlier this year or you know last year, you'll see in booster boxes of Vivid Voltage selling for over two hundred dollars. Uh, Battle Styles came out; those were selling anywhere between. I mean, 150 to 200 now you can get them for 98 dollars uh as of right now uh chilling rain uh it's a new set and you can buy it for 130 dollars uh like i said over at uh the goblin traders they have theirs it's 130 dollars and i'm seeing on ebay the trend of 120 to 130 some go up higher uh but some people are idiots it's just the truth just the truth I think Pokemon is finally starting to level out. Um, I hope. Now, things could change. Things can definitely change with the new sets. Um, everybody's going to want that Eevee set. It's it's a big set. Everybody's going to want it. It's going to have all the evolutions, these awesome full arts, and you know, not to mention we don't know what's in the Evolving Skies in terms of full arts. So if there is a Rayquaza full art, uh, not full art, but alternate art, Damn, I have to get it. I would have to get it. I, I would feel I would feel so bad not having that in my collection. So, one more thing I want to talk about in terms of Pokemon cards. There is a new set. It's a it's called V Union. I actually have one pre-ordered. I pre-ordered the Mewtwo version of it. And so right now it's in J Japan. I ordered it from Hello Japan. And basically what it is, it's kind of like Exodia from Yu-Gi-Oh! So basically you have four cards, and you put them together. Now Pokemon did this before with uh, Heart Gold or Heart Silver, when you had the Legendary, you had like Kyogre and Groudon, and there was a Lugia, and uh, those are really, really cool. Now on this set you have four cards. So you have to have all four cards in your discard pile, before you can play the card. So, I like I said, I ordered the Mewtwo. There's a Mewtwo, a Brain Ninja, and I think a Zacian. I think there's one more, but I could be wrong. But they're really, really cool. Really, really cool. The artwork's really awesome. Um, now, I think these are going right now for 40 to 50 bucks. That's what I paid on mine. Um, I think they actually come with packs as well as a pre-made deck. 
So I we'll see how that goes. Mewtwo is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. So I had to get it. Like I had to. It just had to happen. I don't know what that's going to do for the card game. I don't. Th I, to me, it doesn't look practical. Um, especially, you know, you have to have all four parts. But I, I'm not the biggest player of the actual card game itself. I'm more of a collector. I kind of fall in line of as there's more collectors than there are players. Um, I play Magic the Gathering, but I don't really play the Pokemon TCG. There for a while, I was actually did stream some Pokemon TCG online uh, on this channel, but I never really could get into it. Like, I liked it, and I was winning. So, something that never happens to me in Magic. I never win the Magic. Never, never happens. I always lose. I, I suck at it. I'm not really good at card games to begin with. I just like shiny cardboard. I just like shiny cardboard. But the V Union sets are pretty damn cool looking. Like I said, the artwork's really awesome. Uh, it's gonna really look really nice in my binder whenever I get it. I'll have to dedicate one page of my binder specifically for the Mewtwo. So, but yeah, I'm cool with that. Which is awesome because I'm actually about to finish my second binder soon. Hopefully soon, once this binder is finished, we will start making a binder reveal for that. I want to go back and do a binder reveal for my old binder because there's a lot of cards that uh, I've added to that collection. So I kind of want to refilm that. Uh, I don't know when that will be. Uh, it might be a while. So I'll, I'll definitely, whenever I decide to do it, I'll let you know. Right now, it's just a matter of time and... Um, you know, just just getting to it. There, there's I got a lot of cards coming in that I've got really good deals on, uh, so I'm excited about that. Um, now one more thing before we go, before we call this podcast over. <laughs> um, I'm hoping with the next podcast we can actually get somebody else in here. Um, it'd be nice to not have to do this on my own. Uh, it's kind of hard to find people to do it. Because everybody has a life, and I understand uh, I have a life. I have to have to work now. Um, you know, it wasn't like it was last year where I basically sit there for a whole year not having a job. Um, but I have a job now, so it makes things a little bit harder. Which another thing is I had an interview last week with basically what's going to be my dream job. And if I get this job, oh my god, I'm so excited. Like, you just don't understand. I, I've been trying to find a job in this uh, area for graphic design ever since I got out of high school. I've been a graphic artist since, you know, a freshman. I want to say I'm the best. I know my ways around Photoshop pretty damn well. Um, and I, you know, I try to be creative. I like to embrace my creativity. So I'm hoping I get this job because, I mean, it's going to make me feel good mentally and physically. I'll be able to not sit at the house all day because I'm gaining weight. Because uh, I'm basically just sitting here in my chair and the kitchen's just right over there. So I'm gaining weight and that's not good. Not good. So, we're, you know, we're going to try to fix that. Um, the uh, Nerds Facebook page is still blowing up pretty well. Uh, there's a lot of support on there. I'm hoping that... Uh, we can fix this too, make make this actually work. Um, but other than that, guys, uh, sorry this was a shorter podcast than normal. Uh, I just wanted to get something out for you guys. Uh, I know you guys are waiting. Uh, hopefully the next episode we can get more people out. Um, we can do some more with it, have an actual full-on discussion. Uh, I just have to, you know, just have to find time to do it. It's, it's just a matter of one of those things. You have to figure out if you can do it uh, if you can't do it you know kind of sol other than that guys thank you so much feel free to hit that follow button again once we hit 500 we are doing a giveaway so keep that in mind uh i love you guys and i will see you soon